How are we now? Still glitchy. Bit, bit, bit. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, whatever. At least we have this, which is good, at mm -hmm. least for volume or audio. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready for this one? I'm ready. Okay. So you're going to start with topics you want to. Okay, yeah. yeah. Make sure I remember what I'm going to say. Peacepie.com. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's the camera. What? <laughs> that's the camera of the laptop. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Here, Ashley, entertain the troops. And take one. <laughs> Oh, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Tilt it down? Or is that okay? That should be good. Let's get it in the middle. Okay. <laughs> there? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> How are you? All right. Wow, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> We're all technically set up. Hello, Yay. everybody. Hello oh, again. Hi, Bish. Uh, <laughs> thank you for setting us up. You're uh, it is the Tuesday after the long weekend. Mm -hmm. Troopers for doing videos. Woo! Stuck to it. I'd say there's not a lot of people doing videos today. Nope, nope. But we are because we have topics to cover. Mm -hmm. We're on week three of Ashley's four-week work term, and she is just finishing her program graphic design at College of the North Atlantic, and rather than going to work for a, a graphic design company or a marketing company, Ashley found Kellyanne. Found an artist, because Ashley wants to be an artist. Yeah. Not a graphic artist, but yeah. an artist, artist, artist. artist. And so uh, we have a whole bunch of topics that we thought we would share with everybody because chances are if Ashley has a question about it, then other people probably do as well. Yeah. So we thought we would videotape it all. Mm -hmm. I see we're flashing up there. Yeah, they haven't before, but it was fine. Keep going? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. We're going to keep going. And we will release these on YouTube later as mm -hmm. well. So even if the live is wonky, biting the big one, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we thought we'd take a stab at it anyways. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. So firstly, um, uh, I should say uh, feel free to sign up for my Piece of Pie newsletter, P-Y-E. You can go to my blog, Piece of Pie, P-Y-E. Com. And on the right hand side, you can go and sign up for my newsletter, and I will keep you up to date on all of mine and Ashley's adventures, as well as other things that happen in the studio and outside the studio mm -hmm. that influence what happens inside the studio. Mm -hmm. So feel free to go there and I do a monthly draw for a winner of uh, everybody who joins my email list for the month and then you can win a free Newfoundland quickie, which is a set of my postcards of my paintings. Of exactly. Newfoundland. Super fun. <laughs> yeah. And you get a quickie, right? <laughs> Can't say that every day. Or well, maybe you can. Good for you. <laughs> That's right. If you don't need a quickie from me, then life is grand. Exactly. Nice. All right. So what we're going to do is Ashley has picked some art topics that uh, she would like to talk about. And we're, you know, time is flying in our work term. So we figure we might as well get at it and uh, get some topics laid down. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Ashley and she'll tell us the topics that she has picked for today. Yeah. And let's hope I have some answers. <laughs> So the first topic I picked is printing. Printing. So the first question I have is what's the best sizes to go with? So like what is like the generic standard yeah. sizes? Yeah. 
That's a good one. Um, I would say the, I mean, like, as I say all along, I've made it all up. Mm -hmm. I didn't follow anybody else, so sometimes I feel kind of funny, like, saying, well, these are the standard sizes, because I made them up. Yeah. So, but obviously they're successful, because that's mm -hmm. why she's doing beautiful artwork today. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy. Thank you very much. That's why I found you. <laughs> You're pretty cool. <laughs> See why I like her? Yeah. Uh, butter my buns and call me a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for printing, so I'll just explain what you're talking mm -hmm. about. So for printing is when you do an original painting. And I mean, you can just sell the original painting and that is it. Mm -hmm. Or you can... Do your original painting, you get it digitally photographed or scanned, and then you can have it printed either on paper or stretch canvas or... That's the only... Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's other things. Mugs, yeah. mouse pads. You can print it lots of ways. Uh, but what we're talking about today are printing paper and stretch canvas. Mm -hmm. And talking about, you know, uh, another avenue for... Um, making some revenue while you're doing your original paintings. Yeah. Uh, so sizing, well, I've done most of my prints. I do five or six different sizes. Um, the smallest is about a nine by 12. Okay. And that's my canvas ones. Mm -hmm. My paper ones, I usually do about, I don't know. 24 by, I make my paper prints fairly big and I only offer those in one size. I don't want to get into like small paper prints, large paper prints, one size. Mm -hmm. um, and for the canvas, I do the small 9 by 12, I do medium 16 by maybe like 24. Okay. What was the 24 by? 24 by what? That'll be my large, which would be like 24 by 36. Okay. And if you go to my website, you can go under my prints. My website is kapb.ca for, you know, shameless marketing. <laughs> but you can go there and go to my Newfoundland prints, and then in the drop down menu, you'll see the sizes and the pricing, and you can follow that if you like. Okay. And adjust your prices for how you feel. And I think you answered this one before, where's the best place to go for prints? You said Vistaprint? Uh, not for art prints. Okay. Vistaprint would be for all your swag. So you could get like your bio cards, your business cards, that type of thing at Vistaprint. But I would have your prints done. And the good thing is, is that we have great local printers here in St. John's in the area. So I go to Canvas Canada which is also known as Country Keepsakes on Torbay Road. And the guy there is Ken and he does all my printing. Were we the other day? No, yeah, I know. Uh, we were going to go there. Okay. We still will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he does a great job and you can just bring in your painting. You can have him scan it there. It depends on the size, like a scanner bed. So I he think. scans it. Can I keep that scan for myself too? Yeah. He'll cool. give it to you. Yep. Then you have like your color balanced file. Thing is when we, we do most of our photography here of mm -hmm. my paintings, uh, the only thing is is that his calibration is different than our computer. Mm -hmm. I mean we've kind of got it figured out now but the easiest thing is for him to scan yeah, it. And then he's different. got the original and then he can like color, color balance it right on the spot. Yeah. Okay. How big is too big? Never too big. Never too big. Ah, that's what she said. <laughs> Doom. All right. Yeah, like this is the largest I can print in canvas okay. for this shape because largest one size is 39 inches. That's the limit of one size, okay. one side of a print for canvas. And the other side is eight feet limit. Wow. Yeah. That'd be cool. I have a really big one. Yeah. Well, the cool thing is, like, for a shape like blowing in the wind, which is long and narrow, I can print it eight feet long because this doesn't reach 39 yeah. inches. So I can print full eight feet. But a shape like this, which is a rectangle, yeah. I reach 39 inches this quick. 
Yeah. So this is as big as I can print in canvas. Well, I guess you just kind of planned it out if you were planning on printing it really big in a way type thing. Mm -hmm. Like where you're saying the blown in the wind, that one's narrow. So if I wanted to paint something that was eight feet, I'd plan it so it wouldn't, it could be, it could fit that one. <laughs> so I planned it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you could. Okay, for sure. Um, this one's kind of like mixing with the gallery one. Um, should I bring prints and originals to a gallery or can I just bring my originals? Because uh, you get to kind of try to look professional. That's right. Well, the thing is, if you're going to a gallery, most galleries, most reputable galleries, will not want you to do prints of your paintings. Originals so only. So I sold, they did take my original. Would I be able to sell prints of it too or no? I don't think they'd like it. No. Galleries are pretty cut and dry. I mean, maybe... I'm just trying to think. Maybe there's galleries now that aren't so tight about mm. that. But with galleries too, do they buy the paintings off me, or do they have to wait to sell it and then they pay me? They wait to sell it. Okay. Yeah. So basically consignment. Okay. Yeah. Which right. is no risk for the gallery. Mm -hmm. Good for them. But they have to pay for all the overhead. And also, when you sell a painting through a gallery, you're probably going to give them 50% okay. cut. So if it's a $1,000 painting, you're going to give them $500. But what they do have is the clientele mm -hmm. in there looking for paintings. Yeah. So you're already in the right place for people buying paintings. Mm -hmm. So you're more likely to sell something. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to do your own marketing. But you can back up a gallery by marketing your work yeah. through them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as for prints, especially commercial prints, not like hand rolled lithographs, I think they're better with like hand printing, mm -hmm. but not digital reproductions. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Next topic. Next topic. Money investment. Ooh. Ew. All the fun stuff. Mm. How much should you invest starting off? Well, I think it would come down to your budget. They say, you know, if you have a dollar, manage a dollar. Like, Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, <laughs> which Ashley is currently listening to. Yes. Yes. She'll be a millionaire in a year. I have a millionaire mind. She has a millionaire I mind. I am an artist. She is an artist. <laughs> so <Yes>. am I. <laughs> I still have to tell myself that. <laughs> Um, hmm. I mean, there's Just different around. ways to invest as well, right? Um, but right from the beginning, I mean, you could go the standard RRSP and your bank will just take out, you know, $25 a month and put it into RRSPs. You won't even miss it. Mm -hmm. And you're only 24. Four. Mm -hmm. So when you hit 44, you can have a good wad of money that's collected interest and you don't even miss it off your paycheck. Okay. So I would start with $25 and just sort of... Well, I already have kind of like a uh, account now that it took out 7 or $15 a month, I think. And then good. I shut it off though because I ended up, this was like a while ago and I ended up not working a few months. So oh yeah. yeah so, but I can probably get it going again. Even $17 is good. Yeah. yeah. Money management. Um, how much is too much to invest? Again, well, if you're max around a budget. Yeah, if you're suffering in other areas and you're investing too much, you can't buy groceries. You're investing too much. Yeah. But if you can just, you know, siphon off like a little tiny bit that you don't even notice, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. Are there sponsors to help with starting up artists? Yes, lots of government programs, mm -hmm. especially for people under 30, mm -hmm. I think is like a magic number in my mind. I don't qualify anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just by a couple of years. Could have fooled me. Yeah, go <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got to research it, I guess. And what was your question again? Are there any sponsors to help with starting, starting off artists? Yes. Yes, there are. Is there like a place to go? I found Google like 
it's almost so broad that right you don't even know yeah you don't like you're start to start searching and then it's like you don't like I'd rather like I just like per, like person person here you go here right. you go you know what I mean I would start with Enlo I spell that N L O W E which is Newfoundland Labrador Organization of Women Entrepreneurs. Okay. Thank God for acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're really good and they can actually help you find the programs. Just oh. like you said, Google is madness. Yeah. Like you have to sign up, you get a membership, but you get like a whole bunch of benefits with it. And you know the Soul Flow girls that yeah. were here? They found me through Enlo, even though I haven't been a member of Enlo for a couple of years. Cool. Cool. So look, the benefit's still going. Yeah. And I am going to join again, and I would recommend you join. And there's mastermind groups, and you know, there's women mentors that'll help you, you know, do your thing. Cool. And I think that's good for you because you feed off of people. Yeah. Yeah. And people low. Person. Yeah. On to the next topic. Next topic. Website. Ooh, website. This one I'm going to have to kind of research more so. Yeah. Because mine's kind of different where I'm trying to get my original style out there and I'm also doing a little bit of work with glassware and I'm also doing like, like if someone asked me to do like commission work and like stuff like that. Yeah. So it's kind of like, what in the name of God do I put on my website? It's like, I'm a little bit everything. <laughs> the good thing about the website, doing a website, it's like a, it's like a business plan. Mm -hmm. Because all of a sudden you have to decide. Break down everything you see. Yeah. yeah. And like, okay, just because you do glassware, maybe you don't like to do glassware mm -hmm. or you don't like doing commissions or don't put them on your website. Whatever you put on your website is what you're going to collect more yeah. of. And the worst with glassware is like if someone orders it away, I'm going to have to pay for it and shipping. Yeah. And like weight and stuff. So it's kind of like, mm -hmm. but that's fine if you factor it into your price. That's true. Then you're like, here. Happily. That's true. That's true. And then also, um, I'm doing it through Wix. Wix? Wix. Like W I X. Oh, yeah. So, with that, once I'm done the website, I haven't actually published a site in there, I don't think. When I'm actually done the website, do I have to put, pay for like a domain to keep? Yeah. And how do, how do I go about that? Do I like email um, them and be like, this is going to be my website now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you're going to have to, the, the easiest thing to do is to, um, like, say you're going to be awesomeash.com. Mm -hmm. Say, say. We haven't quite come up with our website name or her hashtag yet. But it is Suggestions coming. welcome. <laughs> but it's so far going like awesome ash. Yeah, because she I'm is. Awesome, you so. And that website <laughs> covers a lot of things. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to yeah. choose. Awesome Ash. Although I do feel like even having art or artist. What about awesome, awesome Ash artist? Artist. Awesome Artist Ash. Awesome artist, awesome artist, ash. artist Ash. I feel like that's a tongue twister and I'm tongue tied, so I won't even be able to say my own name. <laughs> awesome that, Artist Ash. Oh, actually. I, I, no. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll come up with we'll one. Yeah. And then what you do, uh, we do everything through network solutions for our domain names and hosting of our website. Network solutions. Yeah. And you can just go into the main page of network solutions, I think, .ca, and you can just type in your different websites that you would like to have. Mm -hmm. So you can type in Awesome Ash and it'll tell you, okay, well, awesomeash.com is gone, but .ca you is available. You must have to pick a name, too, because maybe something will come up. Yeah. Oh, it does give you options. Ah. It just says yes or no. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's not going to think for you. No. No. It's unfortunate. But network solutions, and then you'll get your domain name, and it'll host your website. And Cool. Yeah. Cool. I go through Shopify for Sh my website. What is it? Shopify. Yep. Shopify. I F Y. Uh, I F Y. Yep. And I picked that one because it's an easy shopping website. And I want people to be able to go in, do what they got to do, and get out. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not sure I've successfully done that yet. <laughs> but I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Next Galleries. One. Galleries. How to get started. So do I just go in with my little carry bag and be like, I'm an artist. Here's my art. It's my business card. <laughs> Pick my original. Yes. But not in that form. 
Do I wear a business suit? Nope. I wouldn't. But I feel like artists, you have to express yourself as you would your own art. You do. I think you could look like an artist. A professional artist. Yeah. Like, don't go in, you know, like, head to toe in paint. Yeah, that well, well, it could, could be an expression. Too. That's so. true. So you could. Right. Really, as an artist, you can wear whatever you want. Yeah. Like Bash always says, though, uh, dress for the job you want. Not for the job you have. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized after I said that, I'm like, wait, this isn't going to be going sense. the wrong way. Yes. I'm happy that you finished it. We're both like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. So what I would do is you have to decide on the pricing of your paintings. Yeah. Right? Because otherwise, you're at the mercy of a gallery owner. Yeah, and they're probably like, well, this one's like maybe 400 Yeah. Honey. I don't know. It's yeah. Okay. So you got to figure out your pricing. Yeah. Do you want to talk about pricing? Mm-hmm. Do you have your paintings there? Yeah! I'm gonna grab them. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, whoever's watching. I'm just gonna, you get those out, I'm gonna check our technical. Okay, looks like it's working. I hope it's working. All right. Hey, and we have viewers, so I hope they can hear us. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty, so that's not a painting. Nope. This painting. This painting. So, this painting. Here it is. What I would do, so this is a, uh, what is this? Eight and a half so by eleven. Okay, let's say. So eight and a half by 11. Do I have a calculator here? So what I've done with mine is I figured out how to price my work and I did it by square inches. I mean, you can do it by time put in. You could do it by, I don't know, weight of paint used. <laughs> we joked about that in the beginning. That's not a reality. Um, but what I did, I went with square inches. So say it's eight and a half by 11. You go eight and a half times 11. And then you pick a number. Like I said, I just made all this up. Mm -hmm. So I just picked a number and then I multiplied. So say it's eight and a half, eight by 11. So it's like 88 square inches. Okay. I would take 88, then multiply it by, let's say 90. Okay. And multiply it by two. That'd be a $180 painting, okay. right? 90 times two, 180. Mm -hmm. Would you be happy with 180 for this? No. And you have to give up 50% of it. So you're only getting 90. No. Of the 180. So what, you would like more? More. More. How much would you like this painting to be? I know this sounds random, but if you gotta start somewhere, you gotta start somewhere. And Maybe you might as like well. 200? 200? So then I get 100. So then, yeah, then you could work backwards. So you wanna get 200 for it. You've got 90 square inches. Mm -hmm. Right, so you take your 200 divided by 90, and that's your magic multiplication number. So, <laughs> and, so say, like, say it's 100 square inches. Okay. <laughs> the math just gets easier. 100 square inches, you want 200 for it. So you take 200 divided by 100 square inches, and your magic number is 2. So your next painting that's bigger. Mm -hmm. Which I love this painting. Boom, boom. Where is ah. it? There we go. Is that deadly or what? Ah. So this one is bigger. So say your magic number is two mm -hmm. that we figured out from this one. So say this one is 10 by 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 10 by 20 is 200 mm -hmm. square inches times your magic number of two. This is a $400 painting. Right? Because yeah. it's almost, say, twice that size. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's 400. So it makes all your paintings relative to each other. Okay. Like, so you're, not gonna, be... you're not going to have this one that's, like, 800. Yeah, no. And then this one is 400. Yeah. Right? Then they'll all start to logically work together price-wise. Mm -hmm. What about, like, if I want to throw, like, if I charge this one for, like, 550? Yeah. That'd be okay to do that? Well, it can. The only thing is, just remember that all your paintings from there forward kind of have to relate to the price. Yeah. Right? Unless you're one of those freestyle pricers and 
I guess I always need a reference. Yeah. Like I like logical, mathematical. Yeah. But it's I mean, I know other artists are like, too. screw that. It's two hundred. That's eight hundred. That's seven hundred. One hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Right. It's it's really up to you yeah. as well. But I mean, I find not having to think about the price, like mm -hmm. how I feel about it, made it easier. Yeah. Because it's like, no, no. Well, this just is a four hundred dollar painting. Yeah. Oh, your mom wants to buy it. Mom, it's four hundred dollar painting. Yeah. So, that's how I came up with pricing. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember what my number's at now. It's something times three. Oh, and the key to pricing your artwork: price it higher than you feel. Okay. Because that's so, like stretching your. Limit. Would your, would galleries bargain with you? Well, I or think would they'll. They just be like, no. Well, they'll offer you advice. So, I mean, you could walk into a gallery and somebody is looking exactly for this type of artwork. You know, you're the right place. You're in the right place. You're the right person, mm -hmm. right timing. You could be like God's gift to galleries. Mm -hmm. Or there's a shit ton of them, this style already in there, and the gallery owner will be like, no, honey, sorry. No. You have to blow their mind. And there's a lot of good mind-blowing stuff out mm -hmm. there. And there's a lot that's kind of weird. Yeah. Like, I'm after seeing a few. I went to the Christina Parker. Gallery. Yeah. And there she was... She has a nice gallery. There was ones in there that were so weird. So weird. Mm hmm Like, it looked like a four-year-old did it. And I'm just like, really? how did even get in here? <laughs> oh, I know. I see them, too. But yeah. then I think, you know, that's, that's art, right? Yeah. I love this. Where are we? Yeah. Am I in? Yeah, you're in. This one is the bomb. Bomb dating. Yeah. Boom. And then this one. Oh yeah, that's one one too. Can you see? Yep. There you go. And then this one's not hundred percent done yet, but it's in the process. And there's a hole in it. Ha <laughs> ha. Three dimensional. Yes. And then this one. Can you see it? From her imagination. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. And the thing about going to a gallery is having a cohesive body of work with your artist statement. Now, our artist statement is different than your bio. So what is an artist statement? An artist statement is your reason why. Does that explain each one what's the meaning behind each one? No, you have to explain the style. Your reason for doing these. Not like, oh, this one was from my imagination and this one is from the time I went to the eye doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like... That'd be um, terrifying as the time yeah. I went to the eye doctor. <laughs> this is like my laser eye surgery. <laughs> Even though I love my laser eye surgery, it was quite the procedure. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, your artist statement is your your reason for doing art. Like your... Okay, I created this body of work, you know, I delved into my deepest, darkest secrets of, you know, <laughs> my childhood and, you know, I just relax and whatever comes out and I work with colors and lines and talk about your artistic process okay. and that's your artist That's why I like about these ones because my other ones are kind of, I've always had a reference, but these ones are kind of just straight out of like my imagination so Which it's kind of cool. like I'm trying to create a certain style because I've always had this weird style but I always just thought that it was kind of like a doodle process for me it wasn't really like I could make real art yeah quote, so quote. now like I'm trying to express this more because I feel like this is more true art mm -hmm. more myself yes. you know and I feel like it's kind of consistent through the style yeah like it's a little dark but it's bright and it's it's yeah. got deep messages and it's fun and it's kind of different and it's fun to look at yeah 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 um yeah and the other thing about this is i mean when you take this to a gallery uh i can't remember maybe different galleries have different methods for framing mm -hmm. because if the gallery frames it then someone's got to cover the framing mm -hmm. which i think is you okay and I'm not sure if you frame it before you go in. So sorry, I don't have that information. Okay. Because I'm not in a gallery. Okay. <laughs> Is there any way like I could sell my own work? Yeah. Instead of doing a gallery? Yeah, that's what I do. So like, 
I sell my originals myself. And how do you go about that? My website and social media. Okay. And just talking to people. Networking. Okay. Because the thing with that... And then that, you get 100%. But you yeah. do 100% of the work. Yeah. Because the work's thing find your that. client. You have to do your framing. You yeah. have to, like, talk with whoever is buying it. Yeah. Whereas gallery will take care of all of that for you. And you yeah. never have to talk to a client. Ever. I feel like I would like to try to sell it myself first. And it's good to try it. Yeah. And it may work or, you know, not. you may realize that, you know, it's well, too hard. Craft fairs. Could you sell them at that or no? Yeah. You won't, you won't get, I think, at a craft fair, you won't get like, a $400. Yeah. No, no. But you may, though. I might. Maybe that's just it's a bad attitude. I have. <laughs> Is there like places like events that come up where artists can? Yep, there's art shows. You always, you usually always have to like, you have to register for that stuff, right? Yep. So how do you find out about that stuff? Google. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think I like to try that. Yeah, I would look up art shows, St. John's, Avalon, whatever. And just getting yourself in a few art shows, you'll get feedback on your work. Yeah. Where I think where what I could do too is just keep paint, 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 and what the art the art show I was telling you with my friend that I'm gonna help her plan it and stuff, and I can see the process, and maybe I could have my own art show, and then yeah. I will have my own art show. You will. I will. Yeah. And there's something about you know how those are all smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Like smaller pieces are good because you can maybe move them quicker because they're a lower price point, mm -hmm. but at some point in time, I would go bigger. Yeah, well, I got a big one I'm working on now at home. It's massive. Oh, good. Yeah. Bigger is, I don't know, in my mind, more fine art. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you want to make a big statement, go big. Go big. Yeah. Try to do that. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have another topic? That was my four topics. Oh, okay. So, all right, on to my topics. And I picked topics that related to the topics that Ashley already picked. Uh, okay, well, let's start at the top. So printing, well, we did pricing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the other thing we should talk about, so when you do your prints, so pricing, I did small, medium, large canvas prints. I also have designer size, which mm -hmm. is bigger and bigger. Um, my prices go smallest 120, medium 240, large 450. Okay. Took me forever to figure out pricing and sizing and oh my god, I'm just so glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going through that right now. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah. Luckily, I had an assistant for how long? Two years. And so she when did a lot of my with assistants like where I'm not really an established artist yet and I'm not really making that much profit just here and there when do you know that you should get help yeah hiring help that's right on the topic list number three um well they always say to hire an accountant before you need one that's the best time I before think, you. I actually think my best friend's an accountant, so I can just be like, <laughs> hi, I'm an artist. Can I have it for free? <laughs> but remember, then you get free work. Yeah. I used to do like barter and stuff with people, and finally I'm like, no, no, can't do it. I like paying people now straight up. Yeah. For like, just do the job. Mm -hmm. None of this. Oh, I'll get around to it. Oh yeah, no, no, I need my taxes done. Yeah. Yeah. So we've had an official accountant for years. Yeah. Know. But I do all my own bookkeeping. Um, I think I need someone straight up to deal with all the money stuff because I'm too, when it comes to money, it's just like, I don't know what it is, a wall comes up and I'm just like, right? Any technology? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, no, me and money don't, we're not great friends unless I have lots of it and I can go spend it <laughs> but other than that no right and money and numbers and you have to become friends with your money yeah. or hire a money coach oh yeah Karen Cullicutt.com I think she is she's been our money coach for years and she rocks 
Mm. So Karen Collicutt, actually, she's just starting her Prosperity University. Yeah. Which includes money and, you know, like living life to the fullest. That's what I like about her. She's not just like money, 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 money. Yeah. I hate when people don't factor in life and like happiness and it's like, okay, so I'm just supposed to work for the rest of my life and yeah. not have a life. Like, yeah. it's like, no. no. That's not the artist's way. No. <laughs> it's not the artist's way. <laughs> no, no, no. That's boring artist's yeah. way. Yeah. Happiness is the main key. This is the main key. Mm hmm and figuring out just how to be happy and what make makes some you money. happy and yeah mm -hmm. doing what you love yeah yeah mm -hmm. and so yeah i would highly recommend karen even to just get you on the right track i mean well she's worth the money mm -hmm. but you have to invest in her in order to be able to yeah get your setup so like marketing all that stuff if i were to try to get my own stuff I could hire someone who could deal with the marketing and tell me about social events and tell yes. me that that's what I need right yeah right well actually what you need you just need your key websites mm -hmm. just figure out what you're looking for and then once you find the websites that tell you everything then you'll know that's everything out of it yeah okay. yep. All right. and I'm really likable so she is <laughs> that's a good thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> right <laughs> And she's confident. Fresh <laughs> and confident. That's right. <laughs> so I would enter art shows. Okay. And that's a good way to also gauge yourself pricing wise, but just remember, rock your own game. You'll see somebody else charging this, you'll see somebody else charging that, and it's all based on shit they made up to. Mm -hmm. So just rock your own game and mm -hmm. Go with what makes you feel good. And you meet people too. Plus a little more. Yeah, and people yeah. are always out scouting around art shows. Like you never know who is who out is about. Mm -hmm. And you may find, if you're lucky, a couple of those that just fall in love with your artwork and they're just like, bye, bye, yeah. bye, especially while you're new. Yeah. And then they have the vision that you're going to be bigger than you are now and yeah. they will purchase your work and help you get going. Yeah. Yeah. And art shows is the best way. Mm -hmm. Social media too. Mm -hmm. That's the best art show on the go. Yeah. And just post what you're doing. I mean, you make good videos. They're funny. And you do time lapse of your paintings. And you don't have to put everything on social media. You got to keep some for yourself as mm -hmm. well. So that you're not always like three ring circuits. Dun, 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 dun. Look at me. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Which I feel like sometimes. But I think I'm. I think I'm over it now. Yeah. 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 It's all good. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So, oh yes. Mailbox money. Um, we kind of talked about that before. Yeah, Mailbox like money is like it. prints. So, you know, if you do an original, you paint it, you sell it. Money. Done. Money. You got to do another painting, sell it. Money. Painting. It's a... It's good, especially if you're selling consistently. Yeah. But say you, you know, you're just feeling this black period, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" It's hard to rely on your originals mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah. And so that's why I kind of hedged my bets, and I did prints, mm -hmm. digital reproductions, and I sell it through stores here. Mm -hmm. I should do the shameless marketing for my stores: the Weavery, the Down Home, Wink. O'Brien's in season, living rooms, Crow's Nest in Tooling Gate. That's it. That's not even that's it. That's good. That is good. Me? Myself. <laughs> you do have your um, painted work in a store. Oh yeah, that's that's Wink's design, though that's not my original. True. But you do But I am I have my foot through the door, so that's right. And Wink is like the bomb. Yeah. Yeah. It Kim is. Patton. Good. It is. Store really cute owner. and really fun and yeah. yeah. Really local. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With other stuff like yeah. gorgeous jewelry. Mm hmm That's best jewelry. Yeah. And so mailbox money is the stuff that is selling while you're doing your originals, like yeah. prints or you could have swag. I mean you could have bags, t shirts, whatever. Mm -hmm. And have someone else selling them and sending you money while you paint. Oh, well, how do you find those people? Well, you gotta get your prints in stores, or you gotta find your niche, and you gotta figure I it out. I guess kind of with me, too, like, I can 
get advice from you, but it's also I have to find my own journey and my own process. And then who knows? Can you imagine if someone down the road messages me and be like, "Can I work inside you?" And I'd be like, "Kelly, I've got to work too." Oh my goodness! And she comes and tell me how cool I am, and I'm like, "All right, I needed that." All right, that's right. Come on, it's fine. <laughs> That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. It will happen. And then you could come over and we could both be like... Right. I'll be like the ancient legend by yeah. then. <laughs> Back in all I did. Yes, right. <laughs> I still have a clapper board. And then you could do the clapper board. Oh, oh, oh. Proper oh my over. goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I must say having a work term student has been very... Self-realizing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I came in and I'm like, cool! This is cool! That's <laughs> cool! Like, oh, no, all right. All right. That reminded me of a lot yeah. of things, which is good. Yeah. I always need a reminder. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the treachery of self-employment can get a little... Uh, yeah. Which is why schedule is good. Yeah. Because then you know it's going to be over, and then you have creative time, so it's like, it's fine. Yeah. And no matter what, you got to do the shitty stuff. Yeah, so you might as well schedule and get yeah. it done. And if Actually, that's the worst, it is. About that. We're going to make a schedule for each other because video games and him are just taking too much time. Yeah, it's right? addictive. Like, he literally gets up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Like, he has to leave the house at 7. He'll get up at 6 and play a bit of video games and relax with a coffee okay. and then go to work. And I'm like, I like smart. Like, I like pain, but I like smart. Sleep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I sleep, right? Right. So... But yeah, oh my god, and he, and he could get up and like go for a walk no. rather than no, 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 the walk around in the game. Okay, all right, <laughs> whoo, devil oh. workout. <laughs> oh my god, but it's kind of fun because I make him new characters and then he plays them and then makes them really cool and I make him a new one. How oh, fun, yeah, you're an enabler. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> that one's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, our bonding time, <laughs> all right. <laughs> where we hook up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you in there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go through the other money topics. Okay. Taxes. 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 So, unless you're making 30000 in your sales, mm -hmm. you don't have to charge HST. Okay. But as soon as you reach 30000 for a year, you have to register for HST because you'll have to start charging your customer HST and you'll have to pay it back to the government, okay. which is a mofo when you charge it to your customer, they pay you, you put it in your bank account, all of it, and you don't take out that HST that you still owe. And then at the end of your quarter or your year and you have to pay your HST, it has to come from somewhere. Yeah. And they don't care if you've already spent it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna make thirty thousand though, right? Yeah. Okay. And a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, I'm gonna make sure I never go over thirty thousand. And I'm like, "That's crazy! You want to make more yeah. money? You want to pay HST because then you're making more money. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. A lot of people are like, "No, I never want to make over thirty thousand. Or it succeed if you put a limit on it. Right? You'll be starving, sure. Not that thirty isn't bad. Is starving, but, but I mean, you, you still eat. gotta cover your costs. Right? Like I think I told you last time, like just to run my business monthly is two thousand dollars. Yeah. Just regular stuff. Yeah. And then that's not even then I gotta make more money. Yeah, it's on so you're not that. losing money. Yeah. Yeah. Which I did for a while. And sometimes it's hard to know, you know, like when do you pay for something like advertising, you know, you gotta go in a show, you gotta pay the registration fee yeah like when do you stop and go like yeah. I had a hard time with cash flow yeah because I'm like I just want to do it yeah. I just want to order this stuff and I want this to happen yeah that's why show. I, need. I need to maintain yeah and watch your ins and outs and mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. helpful and low they're your girls they'll mm -hmm. help you and low yeah or they'll at least hook you up with someone who can help you with it which I should have. Yeah. But now you can. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, so that's taxes. 
uh, money, money management. We kind of went over that. Yeah, that's camera. And the last one is donation. Donation. So since we're talking about money, uh, a big part of an artist's life is being asked for donations because we produce beautiful artwork mm -hmm. and people are like, oh my god, let's just get a donation. It'll help with her marketing. And I think if someone asked me to start asking for donations, I would be like so honored. I'd be like, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I get to a point where I'm like, okay, that's enough that's donations. Right. Back off. Yeah. Which is kind of what happened to me because it is exciting at first that someone would even consider you think that your artwork could help them raise money yeah which is good and you have to do it it's good advertising too it is good advertising exposure yeah the only thing is after a while if you keep giving away especially originals which is why the prints were very helpful yeah. because then i could donate prints then you can also sell that piece yourself yeah and i still have the original yeah now some uh, fundraisers only do originals they're like the higher end ones. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not very often I, I take part in them though because do you I mean, get asked. Oh yeah, yeah. So what do you say to turn them down? Uh, I actually have a copy and paste. But I mean, you say the same yeah, thing, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like thanks a lot. You know, I really appreciate. But not at this time right now. Yeah, I say well, you know, I don't donate my originals. It's part of my income. Yeah, it's too hard to do it yet. Yeah. Maybe down the road I'll have like Especially putting all that time things. and effort and supplies yeah. into it and then Yeah. Just Yeah. Here you go for your fundraiser. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And I have to be really into what the fundraiser is about mm -hmm. for me to donate mm -hmm. an original. It would have to be something like Puppies? No. Oh my god, you like puppies? See? That'll be so your that's weakness. my weakness is puppies. Slots. So anybody doing anything with puppies and animals, here's your artist. Puppies! Or She'll slots. Donate. I love slots. Or sloth fundraising. <laughs> they really do help. They help people. Not they in do. Newfoundland. You never know. They're made to come up with medicine because they have allergy in their, in their fur because they go so slow that it grows in them and then they can take them to make medicine. All right, there you have it, folks. Sloth <laughs> update. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so here's your sloth fundraising artist. <laughs> For if the I record, if I fundraise with sloth, so I would actually like feel honored. Then I could meet sloth. <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> 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 And the other thing on the donations, what I do now, but I didn't do it in the beginning because I wasn't established mm -hmm. enough, was I now do a 50-50 deal. Oh yeah, you're talking about that. Yeah. Did I say it already? Um, in, like, I think it's been a while. Video. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I came up with a, after a while, it was just too hard with all the donation requests. And it seemed like every year I was an artist in business, it like, exponentially grew mm. and you know I think when is it maybe in the last couple of months there's a shit ton of fundraisers and then in the fall there's another shit ton of fundraisers so you'll get the most asks at mm -hmm. that time like during the summer I hardly get any donation requests but mm -hmm. those periods of time so what I came up with because I still want people to make money off my artwork for their organization and I believe in different uh, organizations out there like Big Brothers Big Sisters is one of my faves and I just like like guides mm -hmm. anything that's like sisterly yeah brotherly love I think yeah. that's awesome yeah uh, and other fundraisers of course mm -hmm. and I have like a billion family members so and they're all part of something doing something so I came up with the 50 50 deal which is um, I'll donate a piece to your event and then uh, so say the print is what's an easy way to do it $300 retail value so they put it in the auction and then or whatever the fundraising amount is or, or type is and then the print is 300 say they get a thousand for it in the auction I get my retail value which is $300 and they get the $700 okay but say they only get 
$500 for my $300 print, we split it $250, $250. Okay. So that no matter what, it's no risk to the organization because say they only got $10 for it. I get five, they get five. Mm -hmm. So it kind of comes down, it's my risk, but it always works out and they yeah. usually get plenty. Yeah. But I don't want any more than my retail value because mm -hmm. then that's just silly for me. Yeah. Might as well let them make their money on it. And good to go. Yeah. So that's my 50-50 deal. And it's been great. So now I can donate to a lot more things without having that like financial yeah. burden. Yeah. 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 So that's fun. Yeah. Okay. So then the next one, oh, hiring help. We did, we kind of covered that already. Yeah. I think we are pretty good now. Yeah. But I'll just say on the hiring help side, there's so many angles you can hire people to help you. Mm -hmm. Like you can accounting, bookkeeping, uh, coaches, like business coach, um, mindset coach, Jennifer Trask, Jennifer Trask, <laughs> dot com. <laughs> She's been my mindset coach. She's been amazing. Um, you can hire like an assistant to do your administration stuff. Um, I loved having an assistant and it also keeps you accountable. Yeah. So kind of like having you here for a month. It's like, I gotta have my shit together. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, Ashley's coming. Oh God. Like a little bit extra motivation. To do yeah. yeah. Kind of get your list together. Oh, yeah. right here. You can do these things. And it's like, oh, wow, I got like great right, some organized. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fun. So having you here for a month has made me a little more sharper. Sharper. <laughs> Still a little dull, you know? Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think those are our topics. Yeah, those are our topics for today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're good? We're good. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could hear it. Yes. You never know with our to go check it now. technological <laughs> um, challenges that mm -hmm. we've had. Mm -hmm. But the live seems to be happening. Yeah, it seems to be doing it. And we've this one also recorded it. We seem to be in slow mo, and then we have a audio one as well. Yeah, pretty fancy artists. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, I'll just say one more time. You can go to my blog, piece of pie, p y e dot com, and on the right hand column, you can join my newsletter list. And I will keep you up to date on what's happening inside the studio and outside the studio that affects inside the studio. Mm -hmm. And it comes out monthly. Jennifer Trask would like me to do it weekly. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> and for everybody that joins up for the month, I do a draw and a random draw and you can win a Newfoundland quickie. Yay! Yay! Which is a set of my postcards of my paintings <laughs> of Newfoundland. <laughs> Or right. something else. So go do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And those are extra bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you have a good day. Hope you had a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. I really have to pee. <laughs>